Every time I hit the corner, I'll be turning heat. I'll be turning heat. I'll be I'll be turning heat. Every time I hit the corner, I'll be turning heat. I'll be turning heat. I'll be I'll be turning heat. All right, so we're here um, on location at a Soul Purpose uh, store on uh, West Ham and Tap, and I'm here with uh, two of the gentlemen from a local band called 2011. And we're going to ask you some questions. As you know, they'll be performing at Fly Fest 2012 uh, on May 19th. So please be there at Numbers. Be sure to get tickets and uh, come check out a wonderful, wonderful show. So without any further delay, uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions. All right. Ask away. Um, so uh, just let us know uh, who are you and uh, where are you from? Well, I'm Dallas. I'm from ironically Houston. <laughs> and I'm Brad Gilmore. Some of you might know me as Brad James, others as BG, some as Bitches Galore. <laughs> um, I am from Friendswood, Texas, originally. Transplanted to Houston some of the time. And I'm a rapper in 2011. Whoop. <laughs> okay, so uh, a question to both of you, because I have questions for a separate Okay. Mm -hmm. And oh, by the way, there are other members of the group. Could you yeah, introduce we're, we're three them short. in, in we're absentia? All right, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, we're missing. We're missing the other uh, rapper. His name's Trey Will. Um, he's uh, he's from Pearland, Texas, off of Houston. You know, it's all Houston. It's all the same thing. <laughs> uh, we got the producer DJ Abe. Uh, he's the drummer also. When you see us live, guitar player a little bit, and uh, he's uh, from Houston, Texas. Everyone's pretty much from Houston. Yeah. And then we got the DJ DJ Motai. Motai. He's the uh, he's the Asian fellow that you see uh, accompanying us on the ones and twos. They're missing today. We, we're we're here. That's what's That's important. all that matters. There you go. And they are here in spirit. Yeah. So, all right. I have a question for both of you. All right. What was your most embarrassing moment unrelated to music? Go. Oh, uh, most embarrassing moment when. Whew. I think when I was at school and. This girl tried to talk to me, and she actually told everybody that we were together. And so, yeah, this happened. And so, her boyfriend comes to me and is like, "Yo, what's up?" Da -da -da -da. And like, he tried to like do all this shit. That's cool. All this other shit. shit. All this other <laughs> shit. And it just went bad from there. Man. Everybody watched. Everybody seen this argument. It's embarrassing because he was like a sophomore. Oh man. Yeah. And I'm um, like a senior. Like. I mean, I, I've been thinking <laughs> no, you about place. your question the whole time, and I have a very simple answer. I don't have embarrassing moments. Okay. Nothing ever bad has I ever can, happened I to can, me. Can, mm, Do you have an embarrassing moment? That of me? Yeah, yeah. I would love for you to stage. share. I mean, that's music related. <laughs> Not music related. <laughs> Not music related. Nothing bad happens to me. Uh, All right. So. Embrace your ego. Brad, I have a question for you. Ask boys. What's the farthest you've ever walked in a single day? All right, I'll tell you. I actually know this. Actually, um, I I live I live Montrose Richmond area, and uh, there was this girl I was talking to who I was very smitten with at the time, and it was the day after her birthday. I forgot the gift, right? So I went to CVS, purchased you know a little nice basket of uh, just a bunch of shit to give to her, and she lives all the way like deep in River Oaks. And I, this is before I had a car or a bicycle even. So I walked pretty much from Richmond Avenue all the way deep into the neck of River Oaks and back. By how many miles do you think that was? A few. <laughs> a few. A few. A few, for sure. All right, so check this out. So I did a little bit of research and uh, another question for Brad. Okay. When I say San Quentin, what do I say? What do you, what, what's the first thing that comes to mind? I hate every inch of you. It's a Johnny Cash song. Look it up. When I say Samuel Beckett's waiting for Godot, what does that make you think? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> okay. I'm glad you said Johnny Cash because when I say January 13th, 1968, what should that make you think? January 13th, 1968. You're a tricky little bastard, I see. Uh, shout out to Purple. Um, 
January 13, 1968. Well, let's think. He was signed in 54, so Sun Records. So was it the release of uh, Live in Folsom Prison? Woo! This guy's good. This guy's good. I do what I can. All right. Another question for both of you, and then I have a question for you. Since there are five members in your group, if you guys could play basketball against any five presidents, who would they be? Easy. Not Barack Obama, obviously. <laughs> he's got an unfair he, he, he advantage. He's uh, black. FDR, because he couldn't stand. Uh, um, President, President Lincoln's too tall. What? He's way too tall. He's old, though. But he's tall. He can dunk on my ass. Oh, yeah, I want FDR. Okay. Give me Ronald Reagan, because he's way too old. Okay. Give me George Bushes, because they're not coordinated. Okay. Oh, and give me Kennedy. Oh, JFK. JFK, I think he would. I think he would take it to me. JFK seems like he would hit those three. <laughs> well, I mean, he's, he's a good shot. He's a good he, shot. he probably has a good shot. That was awful. But um, oh, that was him awful. It was a conspiracy. Okay, so I have a question for he you. He wasn't a lone shooter. Have you ever gotten fan mail from a fan? And if so, what's the farthest flung, flung place you've received it from? Um, mail hasn't just like, just like, recognition anywhere? Like, Facebook recognition, like Facebook, any type of, or I mean, letter. Some people I mean, still use snail mail. Lame I people. Mean, in, in, I had some in person. Okay. Um, I was actually at work. Okay. I was in Boston, Maryland. That was my Maryland people. Um, and I was helping this guy out with a watch, and he was like, yeah, I listened to this band 2011. I was like, oh, I'm into it. He's like, oh my god, he just went crazy. And like, yeah, it was pretty fun. Like, I, was, I felt really like good. Because someone knew, he's like, you're in 2011, like, you're a singer. So I was like, yeah, that's me. He's like, oh my god, you're so good. So I think that was the far fetched, like, at work. Where was he from? He was from. Okay, okay, we got some fans out. I'm not expecting to say this. We got some fans out in Norway. Oh yeah, we hit him up all the time. All the time. I mean, but that was in Norway. Still so, from a far it's place. It's still from a far place. So we'll let y'all make it. We'll let y'all make it on. Shout that. out to my Norwegians. Yeah, shout out to the. Yeah, so beautiful. <laughs> all right. So, um, let's see. Let's see. Another question. Ah, I did a little bit more. A little bit more uh, research on you guys. All right. When I say ramen noodle soup, what does that make you all think? I, I think of our song, Ramen, ramen Again. Again, really our first single out uh, ever from our first album, Renewable Energy. You can cop it on iTunes. Cop it. Cop it. Just get it. That doesn't mean police. No, no, no. no questions, just go. Just go buy Renewable it. Energy. Cop it in. Cop it. And the second album, the 2011 LP. <laughs> also on iTunes. I'm going to get back, Jason. All right, I got you. My bad. I got you. Okay, so what is the what is the whole idea behind ramen? Um, you mind if I take that? Go ahead. Uh, well, the idea was like you know, it, it's like when you're when you're a college student or a high school student or even someone of uh, any an student. older age, Just, even, any, anything, anything. Maybe not gotten where you are. And you know, it says you know the landlord's looking for the rent again. I'm coming up short because my checkbook slim. It looks like ramen again. You know what I mean? It's just ramen noodles for y'all who don't know. It's like 10 cents a package. <laughs> and you can have, and it fills you up. So, I mean, it was pre it's pretty much about the struggle, you know? It's pretty much about the struggle. What's your favorite flavor? Chicken, man. Chicken flavor. Chicken, chicken. shrimp. Mm. If you make some chicken and shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, this is the part where you do all the promo. So, if there's anything that you can tell, 2011 fans out there right now, what would you tell them? Collegiate Affairs. That's coming out pretty soon. soon. Cop it when we get it out. It's coming soon. Just to, just to drive Collegiate Affairs, is going to have appearances from Roosh Williams, from Doe Beasy, Do Beasy, and from, oh. Le from legend OG Ron C and DJ Candlestick. Definitely watch out for that. Is this my time to pump promo? Do it. All right, also, check out our back catalog, Renewable Energy, and the 2011 LP. You can get that on iTunes or 2011music.com. That's not 2011, it's the words. 2011 spelled out. Learn how to spell it. Um, also, if you want to check out the freshest hip-hop music, go to dannydream.com and check me out. Brad Gilmore Show, Tuesdays from 3 to 6 p.m. on localizemusic.com. He's a business. I'm a franchise, franchise player.
Once again, this is D. Landry of One Entity Productions. I'm here with two members of 2011. The yes. other three are here with us in spirit. They're going to be performing at Fly Fest. Fly Fest, May 19th. May 19th, 2012. Be there. It's right up the street. Okay, we're on location here at Soul Purpose. It's right over there. K. Reno. Killer Calion, Sean Price, SG, Guilty Simpson, everybody. Every time I hit the corner, I'll Do be it. turning heads. I'll be turning heads. I'll be, I'll be turning heads. Every time I hit the corner, I'll be turning heads. I'll be turning heads. I'll be, I'll be turning heads.